All right, folks. God bless everybody and good morning. It's good to be back. I'm telling you, I have no idea just how difficult things have been lately. Anyway, so I'm not going to go into it all. Let's get started. Okay, so here's what's going to happen today. You're going to see a miracle. A You're going to see a documented miracle. You're going to see scriptures delivered. And when I mean delivered, I mean the way the Lord delivers them to me. I'm going to deliver them to you. You're going to see another miracle. And you're going to see the way the Lord used these things in order to communicate the message that I'm supposed to communicate to you guys. Because, you know, guys, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it takes a lot of faith to tell everybody, oh, well, the Lord told me to do a shipping container. I mean, really? And then you convert it. And then he proves that, yes, I told you to do that. And the way he proves it in the the manifestations in order to keep me going and keep me believing. And and then he proves it supernaturally. You know, it's like lay hands on the, the guy that's blind in one eye out in front of the house. I mean, really, I mean, the guy was blind in one eye. And the Lord told me to lay hands on uh, this plumber named Juan Longoria. And I did what the Lord said right then and there. I said, don't worry, your sight will, don't worry, it'll come. And I was like, I couldn't believe I had actually said, to a guy that was blind in one eye, that don't worry, your sight will come back. Like, it's going to happen. And it happened within 15 minutes. Blind in one eye. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's documented. It's on YouTube. Um, so this this is going to be today just my off the charts. My, you're going to be like, ah. So here's, here's the thing. I'm a harbinger. I've been called to tell people the end of the world is coming. There's a fire coming to destroy and burn up everything. I mean, there's a guy named Noah I told everybody there was a flood coming. Now I know, look, even for me, guys, I, I struggle with it. I'm like, but I can't argue with the facts. I mean, the facts are the facts. Does anybody know anyone else that showed the whole world that the Vatican was a snake? If you saw it on YouTube somewhere, they took it from me. There's no one else that the Lord revealed the Vatican was a snake to. Not some Enter the Stars or some other channel. They've been taking it from this channel. So, uh, this is the channel that showed you the U.S. currency. All the bombings printed on the money. Nobody had that information of the federal building, the Pentagon, the tidal wave, New York. And like I said, someone showed me the Twin Towers in 2001 uh, printed on the $20 bill after 9-11. And that's when the Lord was drawing me in. So anyway, this channel is produced and this ministry has produced more supernatural data than anything I've ever seen. And I've gone and I've looked. Is there anyone that knows this stuff? And there's not. So anyway, here comes more. <laughs> Y'all ready? Let's pray. In the name of Yeshua, Father, I pray that just today, I pray that you just give me the words and the ability just to convey the message and the hope, the hope that you're coming quickly and that this is about to be resolved and to give us the ability to walk this out to the end and endure till the end with the whole world falling apart around us. We see it. It's so obvious now. The whole thing is falling apart, the entire system. So please energize me. Let your spirit work through me to help all these people. And because you've changed me from self-centric to other-centric. And my goal is to help anyone and everyone that would seek the truth. Amen. Okay, guys. There we go. Yes. I love it when I get that clear. That's when my body does that, that's a jolt of energy. It's the Holy Spirit showing up saying I'm here. Okay, so he's always here. It's just manifestation. So anyway, so let me let me start with this, okay? There's these miracles that happened and that have happened and I documented them. And I've wanted to show them to you, but I've been so busy getting this little project ready because in the way it works for me is the Lord gives me a task and he tells me and he starts showing me what this task 
represents. And so then I diligently work at the task, even at my own, you know, exhaustion. And it just, it doesn't matter to me what it does to me. I just want to get it done. That's the point. So I've been out diligently working on this task. And I mean, I, I, I can't tell you how many hours I've gotten up at 8.30 and worked till 3, 4, 5 in the morning to try and finish this. And the reason is because I feel like if I don't finish it, well, I can't close the little door and ring a bell. And I'm still, y'all have to understand, try to be me. I've got to lock a door and ring a bell. What are you kidding? I mean, how's that going to work? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but I believe and therefore I act on what he shows me. Okay, now, everything else has panned out to be perfect. Anyone that saw the containers and Rainbow Avenue and Casimir and the address 154 and, and the interlocking of all these perfection uh, events are just impossible. So now we're going to move into what I believe is the very last. Uh, I, I don't have another project in me physically. I mean, it's just over overload. So anyway, so here we go. Let me show you some miracles. And then I'm also going to show you the enemy manifesting in a way that should really blow your mind. The, the clothing lines that are coming out now, they're not joking around. They want to kill you. And they're just going to wear it openly. And they're going to show you, hey, this is who we are. And we're, we're the odd future wolf gang. And we're here to kill y'all. That's it. Hey, hunted for dinner. We're not joking. We're hunting y'all for dinner. They're, you know, broken promises. We're not kidding. We tricked you. We broke our promises to kill you. These are the new clothing lines. <laughs> it's like, what? It's everywhere now. I mean, it's everywhere. It's insane. Watch Nancy Pelosi. Watch Adam Schiff. You're watching the lunatics lose their minds in their little delusional impeachment. He's an imposter. It, Nancy Pelosi said that about Trump. You know why? Because it's their world. You know, like Adidas original, where everyone's hanging upside down. Remember the originals? Well, they are the originals. We've already resolved Genesis 1. Let us create man in our vain show, illusion, representative figure, especially an idol. So they are the originals. And so those of us that are in the system to be redeemed, they hate us. And they're here to kill you. And the way they kill you is sin. And then they get your soul when the whole thing's over as fodder, food for a race of beings that's coming out of the pit, proving it over and over and over again. Okay, now, I have this letter, and this letter, uh, I, I, I'm not, I have to be very careful with stuff like this. I don't like to just, you know, take people's stuff and, you know, give out any addresses. I, I'll, you know, stuff like that just doesn't work, but I have the letter that goes with this hat. This letter is very important. So I'm going to read this because this hat, this letter, and the mistake that was made in the stitching of this hat ended up being the way the Lord confirmed a, a fervent prayer to me. I, I mean, I was just beseeching the Lord, please tell me and show me that I got all this right, that this is what it means, that what you're showing me. And so y'all saw the... The stack of pictures that came in the mail when I prayed, and I started building this little building. The Lord told me to start framing up a building. I thought I'd maybe, you know, maybe I'd like jumped off the deep end. <laughs> I was like, what? You, why would I build a building here at the house that's under, you know, this thing with my brother and my sister? That just doesn't make any sense. The foolishness of God is wiser than the wisdom of men. Here's the other thing. You ever think about it? The shipping containers, all the work, money, everything that went into those, what did I do with them? I gave them away. So if anyone thinks I'm in this for my own self-gain, you're a lunatic. No, I put in time, money, effort, and just sent them off where the Lord told me to send them. Just to prove 
I got no stake in it. I don't want shipping containers. They're not for me. It's something that the Lord had me do to convey a message that the bride of Christ and the judgment seat of Christ came together at the corner of rainbow and covenant of peace. And he had a message in it, V for vengeance, because he's about to take vengeance on the entire world. And guess what? That's part of the message today. The vengeance of the Lord God is coming. He proved it. And I'm going to share it with you guys. And then I'm going to just, I'm just going to go through this. And now here's, here's what I do. I document stuff. Like when the Lord gives me information, scriptures, I don't just like, oh, I'll remember that because I'm so busy. What I do is I send myself an email. So I sent myself an email on November 12th. That's how long ago the Lord gave me this information. And that's how long I've been working and, you know, and, and thinking, well, I got to get everybody this information. Watch this. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Here's one miracle. Here's another miracle documented before it even happened. I, I had enough faith to take out a camera and say, oh no, this is a miracle. I know what's, I know what's coming right now. Okay. So let's start with what's Jonathan doing? What's Jonathan Cleck up to right now? Well, the Lord, Jonathan says the Lord God told him to build this little building. He wanted him to frame this building up. It's kind of an odd shaped building. It looks like a little church is what it really looks like. It really looks like a little teeny church. And uh, it fit in the slot that where the containers were being built. And he told me, this is how you build it. This is what I want you to do to it. And just like the shipping containers, he gave me instructions on what to do, what to put on one wall. And on one wall, it shows an angel falling. And that angel is turning into a dragon be, being, or a dragon eating an angel. And that angel is holding on to the letter Z and the letter P. It's from Led Zeppelin. I thought it was the strangest thing. Why would you want me to put Led Zeppelin in this thing? Because it shows their communication, Elohim, the way they communicate within the system is alphanumeric. They like to take a letter, like letter Z, which is 26, and the letter P, which is 16, and Z and P together is 26, 16, and 2616 in the Bible is kata dynasteo, which means down dynasty. Let me show you what it, let me show you that real quick. So we, we get a couple, uh, we get a couple definitions under our belt real quick. You're going to see that 144 in just a sec, you know, like the 144. 2616. So, just, you know, to prove this, so what you're seeing right now, by the way, is an absolute miracle. There's no way that someone could figure out that the Z and the P and, okay, means, you know, I mean, who, who could figure out that Led Zeppelin, one of the most popular bands of the last, you know, 50 years, Led Zeppelin, has an angel and one of those the symbology of the band is an angel fall looks like with his head rolling back like he's falling he's holding on to the letter z and the letter p well can a led zeppelin fly it's a yes or no answer the answer is a no it'll fall right out of the sky if it's made out of lead right led zeppelin so He's holding on to the Z and the P because Z is 26, P is 16, 26, 16 is Kata Dynasteo. So they're using the image of the angel and the alphanumeric system of the Z and the P to convey a message to the ones, the originals that are running everything that are keeping us all enslaved as mental slaves through a process that's called sin. And therefore, they mock us all day long because we're in their system and they laugh at us because they know they're killing us all day long, all of us. So here's the word kata dynasteo, 2616 right there. Kata dynasteo, it means kata is down. And then dynasteo means dynasties exercising rulership. And it means properly 
powerfully bringing someone down like an angel, denying them their higher position or blessing they should enjoy like an angel, to tyrannize, to dominate, treat harshly. That's why in the images of of the Led Zeppelin angel, by the way, which was all led by the Lord. There's the Z and the P. There's the angel. And there's the dragon with the angel in his mouth. If you don't think that's a miracle that someone can see that, uh, you don't belong at this channel. There's the eye of the dragon right there. There's the nose of the dragon right there. And as I zoom out, there's the eye of the dragon and the dragon's mouth is open and the angel is in the dragon's mouth being eaten by a dragon. Well, that's funny because here's the Sistine Chapel right here on this same row of pictures. And the Sistine Chapel itself is a dragon. There, The whole wall, so the entirety, the cumulative sum of the back wall of the Sistine Chapel is a dragon. There is a dragon's face. There is the eye, there is the other eye, here's the nose, here's the open mouth, and here like the ears or the fins they have on their head. So now I, the Lord God has used a human being to prove to you that you're looking at a damn dragon, which is a representation of the enemy, the devil, the, the, that old serpent, the dragon, Satan, called the devil, was cast down. So there it is. There's just no arguing that. There's a dragon. There's a dragon. Okay. So he wants me to show the way they communicate. Now, here we go. Now, what did you, what was I told by the Lord to do? He was said, I want to uh, put, put that wall as one wall system, the dragon, and then show a bunch of angels being cast down. I've done that. Let me show you a brand of clothing now called Fallen. See the F-A-L-L-E-N? See it's an F pointing one way and F pointing the other way? They're back to back. Remember that in Jude, in angels that kept not their first estate and went after strange flesh? He is kept in everlasting forward and backward chains of darkness. That's why they use the letter F going forward and backwards. Fallen. See? Okay, you know what? I think I should show it to you. Uh, I think everything I do here... Um, I think everything I do here, I should show it to you in, in eSword whenever I say it. I don't know why eSword's like buffering because it was already on so hopefully i'm not having another crazy weird computer problem which has been just like driving me over the over the edge okay very quickly to jude and you guys like i said this video today is going to be more more information than you you can even wrap your brain around okay so and angels which kept not their first estate and left their own habitation he is reserved an everlasting look Forward and backwards, chains, lig a band that is ligament of the body, shackle of a prisoner. So then the picture I'm showing you is fallen, like a fallen angel, just like just like uh, Led Zeppelin. But see, it's a forward and backward, make, showing those forward and backward chains of darkness. Fallen, and what are you doing? You're wearing shoes. It's a tennis shoe brand. Because you used to be an angel, but now you're walking around in a pair of tinnies that say fallen. Yep. Boy, that's that's our identity in Christ. Okay, now what did the Lord tell me to put on one wall? Well, on one wall, he told me to put this dragon and the angels being cast down with them. Here's the system. Up and down. Up is light. Down. The word for up is in the Bible is Anna. The word for down is kata. Jesus is up. Satan is down. Light is up. Dark is down. Good is up. Evil is down. There's a little perfect little representation so you can see it. And now I've done it in a way that it's a division symbol. Division. Just like the symbol in division. Up, 
down Anna Anna Kata Jesus Satan light dark good and evil this red thing is my little division symbol and I just showed you how what it is and so Jesus is coming to this world to divide it because see they want a unified world they want this world to be completely unified in their in in their you know in in their uh system they they want their whole team unified in the in the system so now here's the other thing what did what was i told to do to get this thing ready that i'm supposed to convey this message to everybody i put angels on one wall falling and angels on the other wall uh ascending but then when i was ready to do the angel wall going up i heard the lord say very clearly I want you to put doves ascending. And I heard the scripture, who are these who fly as a cloud and as doves to their window? And I'm like, do you want me to, You? I thought you wanted me to put angels ascending. And I heard the Lord say, I want it to be doves. Doves represent the Holy Spirit. Because when John was baptizing and he he. He was told by the Lord, you'll know who the Messiah is when you see a dove come down and light upon him. You know, lights like just, you know, flutter above him. And so when John saw, you know, Jesus and the dove there, he went, oh, he's the one. Well, remember the Catholic Church, uh, the the large, giant, dead sheep? Yep. Y'all know that. Um, um, hang on. Let me hit my tab button. Y'all, y'all, y'all know that. The uh, the largest altar in the world is what? It's a dead sheep. See the dead sheep. So there's a. It's also male and female reproductive system. But what's in the middle of that window coming through? The light coming through the window. What's what's dead center? It's a dove. See the dove? That's the dove coming into their system. That's the energy, the light, the spirit coming into their system that they are going to cannibalize in the system. That's why Cain and Abel were the first two kids. Cain and Abel. Cannibal. Okay, so I was told, I want you to put a dove. Here, let me let me get this thing down to where it needs to go. Um, hang on one sec. Yeah, guys, I'm going to have to be really careful on this thing because... It's my everything's been so glitchy, it's just crazy. Here we go. Let's see, maybe I'll let's see, man. Maybe that'll get it. There we go. There's a lot of pictures in this one album. Let's get this thing down here. Okay, so now I so on the one wall, I was told by the Lord God, y'all believe that. Y'all believe the Lord God himself is speaking to Jonathan Clett? Well, if you don't, there's a plethora of proof of laying hands on people that had incurable, mainly eye problems, but people with cancer and they, you know, the, the testimonies are on YouTube. I mainly, the Lord mainly uses me to help people that have incurable eye problems. And then he has me lay hands on them and their eyes are cured or their problem that with their eyes is the the process that's destroying them is stopped and there's many many examples of that on youtube so the second wall is supposed to be doves ascending now i took an image of i took an image that i had of 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 christ uh a silhouette and he told me then make doves all flying off like his silhouette basically turning into doves that are leaving. Who are these who fly as a cloud and as doves to their windows? So you can see that his crown of thorns, I turned into a bunch of doves and they're flying off. Okay, so now I've installed that wall. That wall has been installed in the building. Uh, the other wall has been installed in the building. And now it's time to give you guys these unbelievable supernatural testimonies now remember a testimony is like you're in a court of law you can't sit there and fudge in a court of law i have to stand before the lord god and give an account of everything i say 
and I fear the Lord. I love God, but are you kidding me? I mean, fear the Lord. Okay, so fear the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom and all understanding, by the way. And so here we go. So now I'm going to show you a little proof because I want you to I want you to know absolutely that that this is impossible. A miracle. I'm going to show you a screenshot from today. I screenshotted this today and wait, let's see. Yeah, proof. And there should be on here Let's see, proof of the scroll of times in hand. Let's see if this will enlarge and show us today. This is no, okay, I screenshotted this today. Now, I want you all to look over here. See right here, it says me. And when he opened the scroll, and it says Luke, it's L-U-K. So it's Luke and it's Isaiah as well. And so, and then right underneath it, it says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Well, I screenshotted that today. That's something I screenshotted this morning and I put in there. I have not even opened this email. And let me tell you why you're seeing that. Because when the Lord reveals stuff to me, I get so much data at one time up on my desktop. I'm like, okay, how am I going to remember all this? So what I do is I take the data and I put it in an email to myself. So I send myself an email with all the data. And that way I'm like, oh yeah, okay, there it all is. It's been since November 12th. And I have not opened that email. I've been so busy. And these are some of the videos I told you guys. I have all these videos waiting to go, but I can't do them. Because I'm so busy doing the project. But the project is being used to reveal to me and to communicate the message. That's what's so mind-boggling. So he's using the project to communicate the message and to show me this is what's coming and this is part of the supernatural event that you're about to see and you're about to understand in just a few minutes. Okay, so here we go. So now watch. So now I'm going to go ahead... Um, I can't, I, I can't really open the email in front of you because if I do, it'll bring up my email address. Let me just pause this for a sec. Okay. So what I did was I just opened it and, and checked that email. This is the first time I've opened it since November 12th. It's Isaiah 60. Let's see. Let me see. Isaiah 60. And then I have Isaiah 61 as part of my message from the Lord. But here comes the unbelievable, just mind-boggling reality of the communication. Y'all ready? Okay. So back on November 12th, I started doing these doves. And I, I had mentioned to you guys that, you know, this is what the Lord told me to do. He told me to put the doves going up. So y'all know that. People know that. So people know that Jonathan is putting doves on this one wall and they're all flying off. I've shown you short little videos. So what's in this thing would make sense according to, you know, just the work I've been doing. But it does, it's impossible with what I'm about to show you. So let's go to Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. Okay, let me ask you guys a question. Does anybody remember what's written on a parachute that I was told to make, told to jump, and I was I was told to have a get-together in a place called Grand Junction, which means the great coming together. Does anybody remember what was on a parachute that uh, I jumped? Let's see. Sorry, this, this thing takes a while to repopulate. 
That's a, there's a whole bunch of pictures here. So what was on my parachute? I'll tell you what was on my parachute right there. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it so you can see it. So I have an entire canopy that says V and the number four vengeance. And then upside down, V for vengeance. Right side up and upside down. You're looking at it. That's the artwork that went on my parachute. So that's not arguable. It's true. Jonathan Kleck was there. The video's on YouTube. I jumped that parachute at the location where the Bride of Christ and the Judgment Seat of Christ came together at the corner of Rainbow and Covenant of Peace. That's a fact. There's a there's a, a table that's in the first shipping container that makes the Lord's Prayer in a rainbow. The lights just happen to get off sequence and they turn to a rainbow. And the Lord's Prayer is on the corner of rainbow. And covenant of peace. And the other container is a shipping container. And in it, he himself is our peace that has made both one. Two, two, two containers representing the two have become one. So now, that's pretty weird. That's pretty impossible. Y'all want to see really impossible? <laughs> okay, let's do it. So let's do it. Okay, so that's that's the canopy. There's proof that I'm working on this uh, image of Christ. Uh, this, and the, like when I say image, it's a silhouette where the silhouette is dispersing into doves that are flying away, which is in, which is in Isaiah 60. For the light has come, arise and shine. I mean, think about that. Did you know? Did y'all know that Elohim also means the shining ones? Besides just God's angels, magistrates of the supreme God, it also means the shining ones. Arise, shine, for the light, thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy son shall come from afar, and thy daughter shall be nursed by thy side. Thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and shall be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. I'm going to go down to here. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as doves to their windows? Now, that is probably the inspiration for the person that sent what's in this little box. They knew that I was doing the doves. They know that I'm supposed to lock a door and ring a bell until everybody, well, the to Lord told me to lock that little door that's upside down and ring the bell. And I presume that that's the Lord, like, kind of like Noah, you know, shut the door. I said, I presume. No one knows for sure. I mean, I guess Noah knew, hey, all these animals showed up. And the Lord said, go and shut the door. I'm just doing my little project that he told me to do, putting the imagery on it, which he told me to do. And I'm making it how he told me to make it. And I'm just kind of following his orders. That's all I'm doing. But then he encourages me with things like this and things like this. So I know I'm on track. You ready? Okay. So the person that sent this had obviously read this. I believe so. Arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. Because Isaiah 60 verse 8 has who are these that fly as a cloud and as does to their window. And that's what's going, Isaiah has already been installed on the second wall in there. And this little project is almost done. And there's all these doves that are flying off like they're leaving the system that we've been trapped in. And the doves represent the Holy Spirit that's inside of us because our body's going to drop to the ground. We don't fly out of here with flesh and blood, folks. <laughs> no, no, no. Just boom, we're gone. You, who you and what you really are, what's inside of you. 
everybody wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. It's like, what? I don't want to be here anymore. This body, I could care less. So, the person that sent this, obviously, or or when I, when I say obviously, more than likely said, uh, "Hey, wow, this is um, you know, this is this is part of the scripture that belongs to the doves leaving." So they put it in here. So I'm going to go to Isaiah. 60 but here comes a real miracle okay so arise shine so what are we all waiting for let's just take a minute so what are we waiting for guys i mean aren't we waiting for the lord to come and grab the church arise and shine so we can just be leave we can leave this place that's that's what i've been working towards the night i got saved because i knew what was coming Everything I've done has been in my spirit, knowing that the end of the world is coming. That's why the Lord told me, name your ministry, this is it, before the fire. That's why the first miracle he did, he took me to a place called This Is It in Houston, told me to wear all black, told Lou to wear all black, and by a bizarre set of circumstances, I walked into a place called This Is It, and I was wearing all black, and Lou was wearing all black, and every person in there was black except for me and Lou, but we were wearing all black, and it was called This Is It. And the band was called For the Lord. And when I walked in the door, the guys started going, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise God. And Lou had a little nervous breakdown right then and there. <laughs> she was like, How did you know? Oh my God, what's going on? And I was like, <laughs> That was my first, like, I am hearing from the Lord <laughs> for sure. So, anyway, it's been like that since the beginning for me. So, here we are, obviously, very close to the end. So, the Lord took me to Isaiah 61 the other day and told me to break it down. You know what that means? He takes me to the scripture and he's like, I want to reveal to you the depth and the meaning of the scripture. So he took me to Isaiah 61. So I'm going to take y'all to Isaiah 61. And so um, we're going to go to Isaiah 61. And then we're going to do it in Esau. Then we're going to also go to Luke chapter 4. Because Luke chapter 4 is where Jesus began his ministry. And this is very important because Jesus' Jesus's ministry is what got us out of here. <laughs> I mean, thank God that Jesus came. By the way, Jesus is the Lord God. The name of the Almighty God is what? L. Hebrew word for 10. E-L. And Jesus, the prophecy of Jesus that the Messiah would come in in the book of Isaiah, said, you shall call him Emmanuel. And that means with us is El. Imanu means with us is. And El means El, the Almighty God. And the Elohim is what's run in this place. And they have trapped a bunch of God's children and God won... But an L wanted to get his children back. So he came into the system through a virgin, which is how this whole thing started. But it was flesh. He came in through a virgin. The Holy Spirit birthed the Holy Spirit into their system. And then the Holy Spirit inside of a human died on a cross. And he was able to break open the gates of hell. So we don't have to be there. Because they couldn't keep him. Hell could not keep his spirit. So... You understand now? It's all looking pretty clear, isn't it? Now, so the Lord takes me and tells me, I want you in Isaiah 61. So I'm going to take you there now. And then we're going to open our little miracle. And then I'm going to show you the miracle on how he's confirmed it. Then I'm going to give you a little uh, how when I opened this, I didn't know what this was. And I did it in front of all the guests that I had, all the guests that were here. Uh, when I said, you know, I had a group of my very close friends just here for Thanksgiving because I never really, I didn't have a very many good Thanksgivings. I was told not to show up for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I was the black sheep. I was like, mm, Johnny and Jonathan, don't come by. We're going to have guests. We don't want, you know, any issues. So I used to go eat at Mitiera with uh, the waiters that uh, they were open 365 days a year. 
<laughs> I was like the Island of Misfit Toys. So I had an Island of Misfit Toys Thanksgiving. So everyone can those people came. So anyway, so here we go. So let's do this. Let's do Isaiah. We're going to break it down, though. We're going to go to Isaiah. And we're going to go to 61. And so let's break it down. So this is the prophecy of the coming of the Messiah, the Spirit of the Lord God. So the Spirit. Let's look at that. Ruach, wind, breath of the Lord. The Lord. Adonai, the Lord. It means the, the controller, the chief. God, capital G, capital O, capital D, the self-existent, eternal Jehovah God. See, self-existent, eternal Jehovah, the Hebrew, the Jewish national name of God. So the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. It means to consecrate. Y'all remember that little trip that the Lord took me on? from Grand Junction when Siri drove me home just through directions. I just put on, I told Siri, take me to San Antonio. And I went through some very bizarre driving, uh, very interesting driving. And I ended up in Eden, Texas. And the Lord told me, before you go into Eden, you stop at the city limits and you do a video. It's on YouTube. Everything's proven. He has me document it like a court case. He said, stop at Eden, and I want you to do a video in front of the city limit. He told me, look up the population of Eden. in the, that Whatever that number was, he said, look up that number, meaning in the Bible. You know what it means? Consecrated potter's clay. That's what it means. Well, the Bible says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, which is what the Lord God formed in Genesis 2. The Lord God, not Elohim in Genesis 1, the Lord God in Genesis 2. He formed man from the clay, the potter's clay. So when he took me to Eden, I was like, are you kidding me? I'm in Eden. There's an Eden in Texas. And it, when I stopped, it said, the number behind me said consecrated potter's clay in the Bible. And he let me know, I've consecrated you. You did this work of faith that most people would never take that believe the, and do this kind of work and take those kind of steps. And when I was in Grand Junction, we got to see miracles. It literally rained like on top of the crowd inside the fence and it wasn't raining outside the fence. It, I mean, it, it literally had a little concentrated shower on the people that were inside a white fence where the containers were. It was unbelievable. People were asking me, would you baptize me? I'm like, guys, I can't, I no, I, I can't start baptizing people. But the Lord came and just baptized the whole crowd. Because you know what baptism is? Baptism is your outward expression with your identity as a Christian. You identify yourself publicly saying that I identify myself as a follower of Christ and you're not ashamed of him and you're willing to publicly go out and tell everybody, I am a Christian. I am a believer in Christ as my Messiah. Jesus is my Messiah. It's an outward expression of your identification with Christ. Well, everybody that came there was identifying themselves as a, a believer because they showed up. And isn't it cool? He literally reigned over the crowd. And it wasn't like a pouring rain. It was like just this little rain came and got everybody just a little bit wet. But it was perfect weather. It was sunny and it was raining. <laughs> it was crazy. One of the miracles. Here we go to anoint, to consecrate. So the Lord God, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings, to be a messenger, to announce. And uh, bring good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to wrap firmly, to, to heal, to put together the brokenhearted, Look what that means, to bring to the birth. Oh, wow. That's pretty fascinating. 
to the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, those that were transported into captivity, carried away, led away captives. So see, we were led away from heaven captive. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Look at the look at the word opening, redoubled. You see right there? See the word redoubled? Make it yellow. Now you know why he took me to Thomas and Jory Lamb's house on the way to Grand Junction. The opening of prison. Because now we're double in Christ instead of one one angel, one demon. We've been redoubled in Christ. Do you get it? We've been because Christ is the head and we're his children, so there that's really our condition. But when we got into this system, there's a right side up, upside down you. Your eyes are not single. That's why the Bible said if your eye be single, the whole body is full of light. Cleanse your heart, you double-minded. Oh. <laughs> Starting to get it now, aren't you? To bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, those that were transported into captivity, and the opening of prison, the prison, redoubled, opening of a dungeon, salvation from sin. To open now, look what it also look look what it means. To open the senses, especially the eyes, figuratively to be observant. Oh, like Jonathan Cleck, the Vatican's a big damn snake. The altar's a big dead sheep. It's a penis and a vagina. I mean, come on. And the opening of the prison redoubled. So you're. You're one in Christ because now you it's just you and Christ in there. The demon's been kicked out. Redoubled to them that are bound. To yoke or hitched, fastened together, joined in battle. Because to them that are bound. You're bound to a demon. Superhuman angel demon. That's the word for spirit in the Bible. And that's why you have to get a new spirit because the spirit that in you is this. And you got to get converted to this and be redoubled. Bible makes total sense now. Everything makes total sense now. Uh-huh. And to pro... Now, here's where things are going to get interesting. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance. That's what's on my parachute. To revenge. Avenge. I haven't even looked at the root of it. To avenge or punish, to take vengeance on. Well, that's what's on. That's what's on the parachute. He told me to jump in Grand Junction. V for vengeance. Even on the wall behind me, on an image of the Garden of Eden. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Y'all getting this now? Ready? Okay. So now let's go to Luke. Okay. So. Now, this is the prophecy of Isaiah, but now the Lord told me, now go to Luke and read what's going on in Luke with the prophecy of Isaiah. Okay, you ready? So Jesus rejected at Nazareth. And when he had come to Nazareth where he had been brought up, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up. Look at this, stood up to stand up to raise up again from the word Anna, up. See, Jesus is all about up. That's why it's in there. And when he stood up, let's see, and he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and he stood up for to read. Ready what the... To know again. That's what the word read means. Because see, all of us, for all of us, we got trapped in a system where we didn't know him anymore. And now we know him again. Victory. No more double you. Just a single you. In Christ, 
we are one in Christ. Get it? Now watch. This is where it's going to be mind-blowing. Oh, and then it says, And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah to give over, to hand over to, to deliver unto. Properly, the meaning of. Okay, so. Do y'all remember a guy named Jonathan Cleck that told you, I don't know how long ago because I can't keep track of time. Guys, the Lord God just told me he's going to give me, he's going to open the scroll and give it to me. Do you know how you open a scroll back in the old days like this? You pull it up and down. And I told you all that a long time ago. It's documented. No one can argue because the Lord had me document everything. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> Check it out. So there was delivered unto this guy that's talking to you the meaning of the scroll, the open scroll. He's like, I'm going to show you the meaning of the Bible. That's why nobody I've ever seen knew what Genesis 1 uh, verse 2 meant uh, and could show you an altar that's actually semen, angels melting into semen, which is exactly what Genesis 1 verse 2 says. And the spirit of Elohim, angels, moved over the waters, semen. That's what the big dead sheep is in the Vatican in the mouth of a serpent. And he showed it to the servant that's speaking to you right now. Then he showed me it's a male and female, female reproductive system. Genesis 1, 26 and 27. So Elohim said, let us create man in our own vain show, represented figure, especially an idol. So he did create them in his vain show. In the image of Elohim created he him, created he them, male and female. That's what the altar is. That's what that giant altar of the dead sheep is. A male and a female host body system created by Elohim as a trap for God's angels that, hey, y'all can have all this if you want it. It's the forbidden fruit, guys. It opens the other side. Stay the hell away from it. So, and it was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. So delivered to give over, look at the word book, a roll, a scroll, a writing of the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the scroll, oh, wow, look at what the word open means, in the sense of reversal. Oh, my Lord. You got to be kidding me. So when you open the scroll... The first meaning is in the sense of reversal. And what is the meaning of the root of that up? Told you so. So the proof of Jesus' ministry, when he opened the scroll, that means you can understand it up, reversal. Because you're trapped in their system, which is Kata Dynasteo, Down Dynasty. You're stuck in the Down Dynasty. And a host's body, and the one that rules the Down Dynasty is the dragon that eats angels. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty serious stuff. Watch this. And was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened, the word open means in the sense of a reversal to unroll. And it means up repetition intensity and reversal when he had opened the scroll look the book the scroll biblion bible he found in the place where it was written the spirit of the lord god is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel look what the word to announce the good news okay y'all ready do you know where that comes from? G32. A messenger. I'm going to highlight that bright blue. A pastor. I'm going to do that bright blue too. An angel. Let me go. I told you all who I was a while back. A lot of people didn't want to believe me or like to throw rocks at me, but that's okay. I told you who I am. And a letter to the angel of the church of Philadelphia. Let's look at that word angel. A messenger. Oh, it's blue. Just like, especially an angel. By implication, pastor. Oh, wow. That's the exact same word as 
Isaiah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Same word as Luke. Chapter 4. To preach the gospel. To announce the good news from a messenger, especially an angel, a pastor angel. Because we're angels that he calls to preach. Now, ready? He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to set apart, set at liberty, to heal the brokenhearted, to make whole. Oh, so the word heal the brokenhearted means to make whole. Because your heart's been cut in half. Your heart's been divided because you're half one thing, half another. To heal the brokenhearted, those that are crushed completely, and the recovering, oh wait, to, to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance, to herald a public cry. Look, to preach, especially divine truth. See, look, to herald as a public crier. What does Jonathan Cleck mean? Yahweh has given a town crier. <laughs> Victory. Victory. We don't false prophet. It's like, okay. All right. So to preach deliverance to the captive. So to herald as a town crier. Well, that's... That's what Jonathan Clegg means. Yahweh has given a herald, a town crier, that gathers the church to preach deliverance, freedom, pardon, remission of sins, forgiveness, to forgive, to lay aside. So, deliverance to the captives. Interesting, a spear, a prisoner of war. Interesting, those that have been captured and taken. See, you were captured, folks. You were taken away from heaven into Kata Dinoseo. Okay, so to preach, to preach as a herald, as a town crier, deliverance, freedom to set free and pardon, of the captives, those that were taken as prisoners of war, and the recovering of sight. Look what that means. Ready? Look what the word, I put these little red marks here and here. Y'all see those little red parentheses I put on the outside of this blue? The recovering of sight. That's got to be very important, Jonathan. What does it mean? It means the restoration of sight. This is, Jude. now wait, guys. You better understand what this is. This is Jesus standing in the synagogue, reading from the book of Isaiah, reading it to the crowd saying, I'm the guy. <laughs> and he's reading this. And look what the word recovering of sight to the blind means right here. You ready? And the recovering of sight to the blind it means the restoration of sight to look up. By implication, to recover sight. Look up, receive sight. Oh. That's interesting. Uh-oh, hope, hopefully this didn't freeze. Okay, here we go. That's interesting. How did I show you everything? Well, I took the version and I turned it up. Satan, your time is up. You remember that in Starbucks? I'm not joking. Your time's up. Look up. That's how you recover your sight to the blind. Because you're in a down world. Down, Kata Dynastale. <laughs> now, we have some miracles to share. <laughs> Y'all ready? You want to see some miracles? Okay. I may have to get my glasses because let's see if I can read this without my glasses. 
Okay, I can read it mostly. So I'm going to read this real quick. This goes with the hat. Okay, I am a longtime follower of your ministry, and I got my sister watching as well. First of all, we would like to thank you for everything you have done for us and have changed our lives forever. It's been amazing to finally absolutely know, all capital letters, absolutely know the truth. Ready? Ready? We thought we, you might like to hear the story behind your new beanie. This is the beanie. They crocheted me a beanie. Thank you. I love it. So, we really thought you might like to know the story behind your beanie. We love, we love, we love to crochet. And the other night, we were both inspired to make you a, a, a handmade beanie. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to get my glasses. Just hang on. Just just hang on one sec. Let me get my glasses. Let me get my glasses. Okay, so here we go. So, we thought you might like to hear the story behind your new beanie. We love to crochet, and the other night we were both inspired to make you a handmade, one-of-a-kind beanie. I love it. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Turquoise with a white cross. See, there's a white cross on the back right there. Turquoise with a white cross. So we did. We had it embroidered at Graphic Designs, a local business. The young men that embroidered your beanie, Chance and Nope, are just starting out and they've never embroidered a crochet before. It was their first time. After placing our order, they tried to correct the misspelling of 100% no line. So I'm going to take this and like put it right there. So, so that, let's see where my finger is. Where it says 100% no line. Let's see. That's weird. Let's see. There we go. Let's see where it says. See, 100% no line right there. N-O-L-Y-N. -L so what they what they actually did is they put in, capital N-D-L-Y-N. So it, it instead of cap, capital N, capital L, capital L, capital Y, capital N, it's capital, capital N, capital D. They made the O a D. So, you know, so, but check this out. Now watch, because this is just a straight up miracle. Because I've been praying, guys. I've been like, Lord, I hope I got this thing right, you know. I'm out there building this building. I'm doing all this artwork, you know. I've got like serious blood, sweat, and tears into this thing. I, you know, whatever, I'm, the money that comes in, I'm putting into this thing, and I'm just doing it. I don't expect to ever own any of this. I'm just doing what the Lord told me to do. And so it's pretty stressful. I'm like, okay, I hope I got this right. You remember when I got all the pictures of the framing? <laughs> this is like that. Ready? So here we go. So they try, okay. They had never done a crochet before. It was their first time. After placing the order, they tried to correct the misspelling of 100% no lion. They put N-D instead of N-O. LOL. We explained that it was 100% nylon backwards, but it made them even more curious. So we told them who you are and that you, they have to watch your channel to find out more. We didn't want to freak them out too bad right there in the store. Good. They were so interested, they said they would look you up that night. We believe that they did because the next day when we picked up the beanie, they were so excited and honored for us to see the results. They took pictures of us with the beanie and everything with no makeup at all. That's funny. And we were so happy with it because it looks just like you. We believe that it turned out just the way it was supposed to, even with the imperfections. And we hope you feel the same. Spreading the word in Jesus' name with all love, your sister in Christ, Amy and Kimmy. P.S. We can't wait to see you and see you in heaven. Okay, well, so they they say in the letter, we you know, we hope it's you know, we hope it's. I'm sorry. We believe it's just the way it's supposed to be, even with the imperfections. Well, the O is a D, but you can't really tell. You have to look at it. And I was like, oh, dude. And I hear the Lord say, Jonathan, look up 
N-D in the Bible numerically, like the way Elohim communicates in the system. I'm, I'm giving you a message using the beanie. I'm like, okay, y'all ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. 14. A, B, C, D. So that's 14 with a 4, 144. So, of course, I thought, well, what are you trying to tell me? Like, we're the 144,000 or something. And I'm like, he, and the Lord said, look it up in the Bible. Strong's. So I looked up 144 in the Bible. Strong's 144. By the way, let me let me just cancel out. Let me cancel out some stuff so we're not just doing a 144. It means perception, understanding, and discernment. It means properly the brand of sense discernment, which cuts through hazy ethical moral matters to really size things up used only in Philippians 1 9 in real knowledge and all discernment I was like did I get this little building right or, or you're coming right you're about to show up aren't you you're, you're, you're coming to get the church and this little building represents the church it's so teeny it's so small it's such a small little building if you put this building next to the Vatican the giant church that has what 3 billion members worldwide I, at this point I think it's I know it's over 2 billion so you put this little building next to the Vatican, and that's a representation of what the real church is. And I was like, so I've been praying, Lord, can you tell me that I'm discerning all this correctly, that I've got the building right, I got, I got the Cata Donisteo angels coming down on one wall, I got, I got, you know, the uh, the doves flying off on the other wall. Can you just show me that I got that right? Well, I get this beanie in the mail, and it says full understanding and discernment. I'm like, that's what. And I had this come in the mail. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready to be just grinning all day long. Y'all ready to just like. <laughs> Let me show you what was in this box. Now, when I open this, okay. Quick story, backstory. When I went to my P.O. box to get my mail out one day, this was not in my mailbox. There was a little slip in there that said, hey, Jonathan, we have something, a package to give you. Because, you know, apparently it wouldn't stuff in my mailbox or whatever. Or I don't remember if I had to sign for it, but they had to scan it. So I took out that little, little yellow slip and I put it in my car and I kind of, you know, didn't really remember to get it probably for a few days or so. so when I went to the post office, I'm like, oh yeah, I got my little yellow slip and I give it to them. And I'm like, hey guys, I had this in my PO box and they're like, oh yeah, we have something to deliver to you. <laughs> and so uh, they go back and they deliver this to me and I open it up and I look in it. I'm like, oh, that's, I didn't, I didn't know when I say open, open it up, I just went like, oh, I opened up the package and I'm like, oh, I got this little box in here. And I didn't want to look at it because I thought, you know what? I want to enjoy it. I don't want to just be at the post office and open a box and like, okay, now I got to drive and go do this and go do this. So I, I brought it home and I set it on the counter. And so then I had my friends that came in for uh, Thanksgiving, you know, the Island of Misfit Toys, like in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Y'all know there's the island of misfit toys that didn't have anywhere to really go. <laughs> that was me a lot. And so we're all sitting here and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, that's right. I forgot the Lord told me to open up this box. Let's go back to the Bible. And here's, here's the proof. Ready? On November 12th, I sent myself an email. November 12th, and when he opened the scroll, 
That was to remind me to sh that the Lord told me I had to show you guys Luke 4 and Isaiah 61 and share y'all with y'all the meaning of those scriptures. And I sent myself an email on November 12th and it says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And then when he opened the scroll, that was November 12th. I opened this on Thanksgiving weekend with my guests in town in front of everybody. I was like, oh, I'm buzzing. The Lord's like, oh, you need to open your little box, do it in front of everybody. And I'm like, and so they're all here, you know, checking out the little building because I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost through with it. And I was like, okay. Like, and I open it up and let me show you what is in there. There's a little, there's a little scroll in there. I'm like, oh, wow. And I take it out. And I'm really going to need my glasses for this. <laughs> Hang on one sec. Where are my glasses? <laughs> Here they are. Let me just get ready. <laughs> so crazy. I thank the Lord for you and for what He has shown us. We who are Anacrino, because of you, my mother can see. She can see. You are a blessing. What a gift. That little scroll is from Isaiah. Much love, John. Ready? It's a little scroll. Look what's on it. Let's see. It says Isaiah. See it? It says, Isaiah, wait a minute. That's weird because the Lord told me like a month ago to deliver to you guys the meaning of Isaiah and to prepare the church to get ready to leave. That's what this little building is trying to tell everybody the, the little thing I'm building is a message from the Lord God through me to tell everybody to get ready. And then I'm supposed to deliver the meaning of not just the scroll of Isaiah, but the Bible. The meaning of the word of God on a crino. Because... Those who are spiritual discerneth on a crino all things. And he told me to read Isaiah when he had opened up the scroll. The, mean, op, the word open means to reversal, to turn up. And now I'm getting a little scroll that says Isaiah on it. And I'm telling everybody this little building out back is the Lord's way of telling me the church is about to leave. Let's open the little scroll and see what it says in it. How do you open a scroll? You open it like this. Up and down. Arise, shine. Oh, isn't that fascinating? I opened it and it just happened to be upside down. <laughs> Arise, shine. For the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. <laughs> it's like, oh, what? <laughs> a little scroll. A rise. And of course, of course it would open up upside down. Of course it would. How could it be any other way? I had no idea. <laughs> Y'all just saw two mega miracles concerning, you know, the uh, the little project the Lord's got me doing. And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in there. This is so special. This is 
this and this was the Lord's way of communicating uh, and Robert Lambert sending the bell. The bell is getting ready to go. Everything's almost done. I'm getting very close. And I've been working myself like no one's ever. I mean, you guys would be like, poor Johnny. <laughs> you would be like, Johnny, just stop and take a break. I can't. <laughs> it's like I can't stop. I am driven. Let's go back and look at that scripture. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For darkness shall cover the earth. Now remember, I'm the come out of the darkness into the light guy. You know, the vampire falling upside down with vampire fangs, falling from the sky. <laughs> it's all true. The Bible's perfection. It's absolute perfection. The Jesus, the Lord is perfection. He is pure perfection. And we are about to be joined together with that pure perfection. And we're going to get to leave these host bodies and get glorified bodies because we're joint heirs with Christ. Just stop and think about that. We, you, you, me, we. We all belong to each other. We belong to him. I Jesus said, I am in you and you are in me and I am in the Father and we are one. <laughs> Victory. The two become one. So we're about to become one with Christ. And that little representation out there is just about done. How amazing. Can you believe that he would confirm it? He had me open a little scroll. Now, you want to see the proof? Here's the proof. I documented it while it was happening. Let's do this. Here we go. I was in Isaiah 61, right? Yes. And I, what did I say that the other thing that was in Isaiah 6? Right? 60, right? I said, there's something, I think, who are these who fly as a cloud and as doves to their window? Arise and shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I just want to make a point right here. This is the opening of that scroll live in front of everybody, not knowing what was in the scroll. <laughs> yeah, let's so watch. Here we go, here we go. So, and, uh, and for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, check this out. <laughs> Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Oh, oh my gosh, I just let all the way up. Is everybody freaking what? out? Dude. Want to see miracles, folks? That's what yeah. you see The person holding that camera is Oh, like, let me see, <laughs> Jonathan. Arise, Arise oh, shine. Oh, my. Okay, ready? Wow. Wait. Praise the Lord. Okay, That's wait. Like, so here we go now. No way. Arise. Look what it, come here. Look what it means. To rise. To accomplish. Oh my. Oh wow, that's right, I it's forgot. Hey. To hey. arise to accomplish. <laughs> now this was the video, so so, oh. so let's document this real quick because I'll try and download your phones. So what I'm speaking to everybody now, the general audience, my friends that are here. So here's the thing, I've been very busy, y'all notice I haven't been on YouTube because my friends that are here visiting know how busy I've been because I've been working on this little building as hard as I can, so, so, just leave it on, so, I've been working, so I've been working on this building so I could relax with my friends when they got here for the holidays, so I've been burning the candle at both ends, working till five in the morning, four in the morning, regularly getting up at 8.30 for so many weeks, I just lost count, so, 
the doves are installed. They're, we'll get to all the supernatural stuff about the doves. But I haven't been able to do a video on YouTube because I've been so busy and to get this little building ready because I'm trying to have it finished right away. So that's why no one see me on YouTube. And the, the video that I had ready to go that the Lord told me I had to do was based on Isaiah 61. Um, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach you know, the gospel. And, and then Luke 4, 17, and that when Jesus began his ministry, he, had, he was delivered unto him the, the book of the prophet Isaiah. That's what it says in Luke 4, 17. And so when he opened up the book and began to read, and so that's my next video that was coming, and y'all are seeing it right now, that was coming <laughs> to YouTube. Well, today I got in the mail this little box right here. And without going into all the other supernatural testimonies that have happened the last couple of days, which I will tell you guys in just a little while, I opened this thing up and wrapped around this, this little scroll was this little thing and it says, Isaiah, Isaiah. And what I'm working on the video for y'all is Isaiah, and it's Isaiah 61, when he had opened the scroll, uh, when he had opened the scroll and it was delivered unto him, the, the ministry of Jesus Christ, when, when Jesus opened the scroll of the book of, of Isaiah. And here I am opening a little scroll that says Isaiah, and it says, Arise. And everything since, and y'all can chime in, since y'all, the people that have been here, since y'all have been here, what's the message been? Coming soon. Coming soon. Time to go. Time to go. Let go. Let, uh, time to let go. Time uh, to go. Yes. Yeah, so that's been the message. But this little scroll, we're documenting it, documenting it right now while I open up. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people here. That's kind of pathetic. And so there it is. And so and then I'll. There was a word. What's the word from the 320? Recognition. Recognition. The end. The end. Oh, and that's what was on my cap, too. Full discernment. Wait, stop. Where's my cap? It's over there in the chair. Yeah, the... There it is. Right there you go. The so I got to yes. use this, too. So full recognition and full discernment and understanding. I got this cap a couple days before I got this. Yeah, cat, you look through that. Let Brandon do it. Give it to Brandon. Give it to Brandon. Right, cat's like, yeah, your video is going to be on my team. Okay. okay, so here's something really strange. Someone sent me this in the mail. By the way, I, I know who it is, but thank you for this cap. And they crocheted the cap, and then they gave it to someone to do this um, before the fire, 100%. It looks like no line, but it's in an N and a D. And so the person that made this made a little mistake. It's like a capital D, cap N, capital D, L, Y, N. And they even wrote in their little note, I'm sure it's something, you know, that the Lord, so we thought we'd send it to you just as it is. And the Lord told me, I looked at the N and the D, and the Lord told me, look up N and D together, the number of this. So it was 14 and then A, B, C, oh, 144. And so he told me, look it up. And so I looked up 144, and it means full recognition and complete discernment. Wow. Amen, wow. amen, of amen. The end, guys. Wow. Now, well, how'd you get through 20? So, <laughs> and so we'll, we'll get to that okay, later. Yeah. But, okay. So I'm documenting wow. this now, and then I'll follow this up with, you know, we'll send and do a commentary. So yeah. I just did this oh, in front of everybody. My. Did I do this in front of Amen. you? Amen. Yeah. Truth. Did I, I open this before? No. no. I just did this in front of everybody. Amen. Documented. <laughs> Amen. All right. Okay. So that was the day that I opened up the little scroll when I was, when it says, and when he had opened up the scroll, when he had opened the scroll, reversal up. The very day. <laughs> so.
<laughs> and I was praying, Lord, I pray that I've got all this right, you know, that, you know, I know I'm an end of the world harbinger, but it's hard to wrap my brain around that sometimes. It really is. So now I just shared with you what he's shown me. Now, here's the other thing. I want to show you how the enemy now is manifesting to a point that's just a joke. It's a joke. It's so it's so in our face, it's a joke. They're they're getting ready to kill everybody. The beast is about to be unleashed. I can show it to you. I mean, it's like a joke for me to show it. It's a joke. To me, I mean, it's like I can show it to you everywhere. I can go to the grocery store, hardware store, anywhere. I can go anywhere and show it to you. Anywhere. It's everywhere. So anyway, so what I'll do on the next video is like, hey, let me show you how they're manifesting. And we'll just kind of knock them off real bit. It'll be fun. But I want this to be like the video that encourages you. Don't stop. So, you know, in my... Um, you know, in upcoming videos, uh, you know, I've been pushing myself to a limit that most people don't have. I'm serious. Most people don't have this limit. Uh, and the Lord gave me this ability a long time ago when I was 15. I went on a thing called Outward Bound. And out of 10 people that started my group, five finished. Isn't that perfect? And it was the most grueling, most unbelievable push of just my, I could ever even have imagined especially at that age. I, I was actually too young to go. But my dad was willing to sign away my life even then. <laughs> so I got to go. And uh, it was it was, it was was brutal. Anyway, but I'm pushing myself. And the Lord told me, I'll protect you. I'm having like all kinds of health stuff going on. I mean, stabbing back. Still diverticulitis stuff. And the Lord told me, I'll protect you. You just keep going. So... Victory in Christ, not on our own, only in Christ. The victory only comes from us submitting to him and admitting we were wrong, admitting we deserved our punishment, saying I'm guilty as charged, guilty as charged, I deserve my punishment. Would you please help me and forgive me? You'll humble yourself before the Lord. You ask for forgiveness. So, I hope y'all are encouraged. The little Kata Dinosteo thing is just about over. The uh, the project that he gave me, which is the message. There's more message, by the way. I under he's given me an understanding of the beginning before this thing even started that we call the Earth. He's let me understand it. He's probably let me understand more than 99.9 percent .9 of the people on this planet have ever understood. And it's just, you know I know I'd be oh it's a flat Earth. I don't give a rip what it is. The system that, by the way, go look up the earth. It says globe. So anyway, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that there's not part with a part in the middle and then a bottom. So, you know, people get their brains locked in and then they get down these rabbit holes that the enemy wants them to go down instead of looking at the most important thing there is. If you haven't been turned up, you haven't been saved, you haven't been converted. If you're still down you're just part of the Kata Dynasteo, the Down Dynasty. I'm here to show you the other way and how to get converted. Just start turning some stuff upside down and looking at it. You'll go, wow, wait a minute. Why'd they do this? Why'd they make a whole different thing? So anyway, so we're going to have some vids now. I'm going to start getting back to the vids now because uh, I'm really close to being done. I got a little bit of help finally. Um, when I mean help finally, I mean extra sets of hands to help me. Um, anyone that wants to jump in and, and help uh, financially, it's always good. Prayers, uh, if you want to go and s send something to the post office box, uh, PayPal, whatever, just jump in and help. We're almost done. Only if you can. I, I don't like it when people, they're like, oh, I want to help, but you know, I've, I've got to pay my electric bill, but uh, that'll only leave me a few dollars. No, no, I don't want... God doesn't need you to do that. Just pray. Pray that I have the strength to bear up. There's days where I, I, I sit there and put two hands over my face and start crying like I don't have I don't have the strength to make it, Lord. And he's like, don't worry, you're going to make it. 
and I'll just keep going. <laughs> yep, we're going to make it. So remember those that endure till the end will be saved. So don't give up. Don't stop. I'm going to start wearing uh, my, uh, you know, uh, during videos, I'm going to wear stuff to encourage you. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. I love you guys. Uh, let me let me just look at the desktop and make sure there's anything else. Let's see. Oh, okay. Here's here's uh, little video clips uh, that you guys can watch of some production. Super I and I'm a quick footnote. I'm having to do really short little videos and send them to Dave. Uh oh. Look like we have a, a frozen program right now. Okay, yeah, sorry, our program froze. Okay, so check it out. So I'm having to do really short little videos and then just, you know, email them very quickly because my phones are all, everything's acting weird. So I'm going to show you like a little production video real quick. So uh, here with uh, Cat, Corey's in, right? there's Cat, Cat, there's Cat, Corey's in town, Corey's helping me, thank God. And then there's what I'm laying out to do the walls of of the uh the way the way uh trying to do get trying to get the walls done now here's the thing i've been i've done all these videos guys i'm having serious equipment problems all my uh computers are starting up in russian i mean it's so freaking weird so anyway i'm doing short little like videos that i can email because i can't download my phones my phones won't download it's like the weirdest thing i've gone on four different computers bought external terabyte drives nothing's working Okay, I'm going to stop this video and do another one. So what I'm having to do is do these short, short little videos and all this stuff I've been documenting for you guys. I'm trying to find a way to get it to you, but I have been struggling because I'm under some kind of a cyber attack or something. My computers are all starting to behave the same, having the same problems opening up in Russian. I mean, what the hell, Russian? And yeah, so anyway... Uh, Here's the walls that are going up in the next, uh, probably in the next 24 hours. And we're zeroing in on this project, guys. I can see it coming to an end very quickly. The project coming to fruition. And uh, so these are the guys that are still in town helping me with this over the holidays. So I'm gonna give you guys a short little clip and I'll be back. So I'm just doing a quick show y'all what's going on. That wall's done. That wall's installed. Metallic epoxy. Uh, this all is installed. I'll do like a panorama. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Wow. Wow. Just a few more things. Um, it's getting super close, guys. I can feel it. There's no doubt. I'm a ticking time bomb. Um, I'll explain that later. I'm, I'm, I myself am a, kind of a countdown. So I'm, my whole life obviously is a manifestation of who I am and what I'm supposed to do. So praise God. So I love you guys. Group hug. <laughs> Amen. This is for my buddy that helped me with some installation today. And yesterday and over the weekend. Yo, what's up, Corey? I just want to tell Corey thank you and all my friends who are here. Uh, you know, I have some friends that are just thank God for them. Anyway, so yeah. Corey, what's up? Dude, Michael, Brielle, Dave the Wave, Kat, Sarah, the boys. I just want to use names just because, you know, safety. Anyway, um, yeah, Brandon, <laughs> that was awesome, awesome. Okay, just another super short documentary video I'm just working on. These are ceiling tiles. They'll go on the ceiling. Um, you know, just 
playing around with uh, the metallic epoxy tiles. They are just mind-bogglingly interesting. Looks like the universe. Let's see. There we go. Uh, kind of got to be careful on the house. You got to do short vids. Anyway, so yeah, pretty, pretty amazing uh, medium. So anyway, so yeah, looks just like a Lino. It's pretty amazing. Um, anyway, uh, I'll add this to the other bit. Sorry, guys, I'm like checking on the epoxy while it's drying. Got to make these short bits. So I'm doing uh, just a little check-in. I'm having to do, I'm oh, sorry. I'm having to do very short little vids because of all the weird computer things going on. I'm doing the ceiling panels now. We're not, when I say we, I've had some help from Corey and some, some friends this last week a little bit, but it's me and the Lord and right now, and we are just freaking out. I can't see my glasses are all fogged up. But uh, anyway, God bless you guys and uh, this will be added to the vids. All right. So hopefully that's got it. All right. So. Group hug. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, it feels good, right? A good hug is so good. Anyway, yeah. I love you guys. And, um. Thank you for the miracle. Thanks for being obedient and listening. And the timing was just beyond perfection. And the arrival of the message was so perfect to encourage me just to run for this finish line. And guys, I don't know how this is going to go down. I'm just going to look, look at you and say, I'm just doing what he tells me. And I'm trying to be perfectly obedient in the best I can. And I, I'm prayerful in what I do. And I say, is this what you want me to do? Is Am I doing it right? Is this it? You know, and so, you know, and I, I really, uh, in, I engage myself in the task at hand. That's for sure. So anyway, again, like I said, if anyone wants to jump in and, and help, I'm going to show you all how to do it. Um, well, I'm not even signed in. Hang on one sec. So, if anyone wants to jump in at this late stage of the game, you can send. Or, you know, guys, here's the other thing. You know, I, I really enjoy getting cards, uh, short letters, long ones. I just don't. Some people send five, six pages. I don't have time for it. I don't. Uh, I All those, I just like, I open them and I'm like, I'll get to it when I can. And then I go over and I put them with all the other six to nine to ten to twenty page letters. And they end up sitting there because I'm too busy. I can't read all that stuff. So anyway, you know, keep it to a page, two pages max, and I'll read it right then and there. Usually right then and there if I'm not like running from one job to another. So anyway, so if you want to jump in now at this late stage of the game, J. Cleck, P.O. Box 91281, San Antonio, Texas, 78209. You can send a letter there. And if you want to help support the finish, literally the end of this project, or you can go to, we have, uh, you can PayPal to right here, jk at jonathancleck.com right here. And you enter that as your email in the field. Now, here's the other thing. Um, I am, f I'm getting these folders kind of bolstered up, you know, with data and we'll, I'll try and have like a little session where I show you this is how you go get all this data and put it on jump drives to leave around. I'm leaving, I don't know, Dave and I are downloading, you know, jump drives and I'm leaving them on necklaces hanging around for whoever and anybody that, you know, when this all goes down, this data is the most valuable. It's more valuable than all the money on the planet. It's freedom for your soul. You'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. The Lord used me to do all the knowledge. He used me for 15, 17 years. I think 17, yeah, 17 years 
to do all this knowledge for everybody. So the knowledge is done. Look at what he can show you in the Bible. It's just mind-boggling. Up. <laughs> the whole thing's that we were in the Kata Dynasteo, the angels falling into the Down Dynasty where we're tyrannically ruled over by a tyrannical king of the Down Dynasty, which is Satan. And then when we get turned up, we're still stuck in their world because we're in a host body, but at least we have this hope that Jesus, we're good to go when we die in the absent from the body, present with Christ. Or if we're walking around like this, when it all goes down, we're just, boom, we're out of here. <laughs> Proven using the word of God. <laughs> all glory to God. All glory to God. I'm just a 100% sold out, tired believer. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I love you guys. Another group hug. Double group hug. Ugh. Ugh. I love you guys. See you later. Take care. God bless.